Saturn, very important player, sets boundaries. It's about to be a big planet in your life, young Aries. And then the background as it is affecting everyone, but really is about uh, you more than anyone because the Uranus Eris conjunction this is profound uh, talk to Pisces people and ask them about their lives uh, between 7 and 14 years ago talk to Aries people including Aries rising and Aries moon people ask them about their lives over the past 7 years don't be too daunted if they tell you all of these uh, stories of, of things that were, you know, did, did not necessarily go right because with astrological guidance, you, you can make things go a lot better, at least as far as using astrology is concerned. Chiron is uh, now about finished with its journey across the 10th house, but that was the summoning to awakening uh, to, to the idea that you want more out of life. And if you go back to uh, 2009, 10, and 11 and notice the kinds of um, changes that you, that you went through... Jupiter is now in Libra, which, by the way, has been uh, suggestive of a year of improving your domicile. Uh, there's still a few months left of Jupiter in, in Libra. So if you have any home improvement projects, uh, get, get on them. The, the one that, I, I don't know, maybe maybe it's just me, but ever since I've been a horoscope writer, when whenever Jupiter gets into somebody's fourth house, uh, I ask them to check how Recently, they replaced their bed. So setting intentions is important. Uh, and prior to being able to act on your, your intentions, you can at least know what you intend, what you want. And intend and intense are, are similar. And so when you set intentions and you intend things, you're going to increase the intensity of your life and uh, a, a solar eclipse will also participate in increasing the intensity of your life and require you to really get a handle on your intentions. But Virgo is on the on the right hand left hand side of the chart, which is the ascendant. The chart begins uh, in at the beginning of the first house. That's right there, so you can follow around. And um, till the, the whole the whole story of the chart runs counterclockwise, and we we begin here in Virgo. And this is about who you are and who you identify as being, what you call yourself, what you look like, that you're. Uh, main personality traits and, and so forth. So we have Saturn, one of the planets associated with Libra. That's in a trine to Mars. And uh, Mars is conjunct the eclipse, uh, though it's a few degrees apart. It's still a, it still counts for a conjunction. And then the whole thing is, is trine the uranus Eris conjunction that is one of the most important planetary aspects that's defining our meta era in history, the one that I keep associating with internet consciousness and, and with people being out of their bodies. And how that influences your goals in the world and your ability to do things in, in the world and a uh, perhaps covert conformist quality that you have and and send your hate mail in but i'm saying that there is a conformist quality that uh, can undercut the achievements of scorpio and and that conformist thing almost always involves some adhesion or allegiance to your family that does not serve you there's all kinds of allegiances to family this is uh, the, the line that separates what you might think of as the theory of your potential with the actuality of your potential. The theory of your potential 
being explored and expressed here in Leo and the actuality of your potential being demonstrated in Virgo and then also in Libra. Backed out a little bit for the 2008 election and then it came back in and has been in Capricorn ever since. Let's say we've had about eight solid years of uh, Pluto in your sign or in your rising sign. And when Pluto is in your sign or in your rising sign, life is intensified. There is, uh, there is focus, there is impact. You come into focus, you begin to have additional impact. So let's first of all, let's look at a diagram of the eclipse itself. Uh, using Aries as the beginning point of the chart, uh, because it's just uh, for all the signs. Uh, the, the, the eclipse is in a, a grand trine pattern. Uh, the eclipse of, of the sun and the moon takes place here in Leo. Mars is conjunct the eclipse. And then uh, there are important planets uh, trine the eclipse to one side in Sag and trine the eclipse to the other side in Okay, so Chiron through your sign, uh, potentially uh, upheavals, turmoil, uh, identity crisis, and some health crisis. Uh, this is changing now that Chiron is about to enter Aries, where it will uh, take up new residence now for about nine years. And the theme here is stabilizing your self-esteem and stabilizing your relationship to your resources. Mm -hmm. 